Welcome to Sunrise Meditations on the beautiful and serene Ender's Island. Today is Tuesday of the 15th week in Ordinary Time, and I'm your host, Deacon Francis Valier. Alexio Divina is from the Gospel according to St. Matthew, chapter 11, verses 20 through 24. And let us begin our prayer in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O oh God, who show the light of your truth to those who go astray, so that they may return to the right path, give all who for the faith they profess are accounted Christians the grace to reject whatever is contrary to the name of Christ and to strive after all that does it honor. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. And now let us listen and attend to our gospel passage proclaimed by Michael Toole. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Jesus began to reproach the towns where most of his mighty deeds had been done, since they had not repented. Woe to you, Chorazin! Woe to you, Bethsaida! For if the mighty deeds done in your midst had been done in Tyre and Sidon, they would long ago have repented in sackcloth and ashes. But I tell you it will be more tolerable for Tyre and Sidon on the day of judgment than for you. And as for you, Capernaum, will you be exalted to heaven? You will go down to the netherworld. For if the mighty deeds done in your midst had been done in Sodom, it would have remained until this day. But I tell you, it will be more tolerable for the land of Sodom on the day of judgment than for you. In today's gospel reading according to St. Matthew, Jesus warns three towns where he spent much of his time, Chorazin, Bethsaida, and especially Capernaum. If Jesus had done in the pagan towns of Tyre and Sidon, what he had done down in these predominantly Israelite towns, they would have converted long ago. Even Sodom, the biblical image of the very worst in immorality, would have done better. It's important for us to realize that in today's gospel, Jesus is primarily speaking to us today. If many non-Christians had been given the opportunities that we have received through our baptism, and membership of the Christian community, they could very well be living much more generously than we do. To what extent are we listening to God's Word? How much of it do we try to understand? And how much of it is reflected in our lifestyle? Are we clearly and obviously followers of Christ and His way? something for all of us to ponder. After our closing prayer, we read the scripture passage and contemplate its message. Concentrate on a thought that comes to you either through a verse or even just a word that touches you, and ask the Holy Spirit to show you how it pertains to you and how you may spiritually grow closer to Him. Let us complete our divine reading with a closing prayer, and let us pray. Having contemplated your sacred word, we pray, O Lord, that by our embracing the gospel of love, its saving effects upon us may grow. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may the peace of the Lord Jesus be upon you always and in all ways. And may his blessings fill your day with joy. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.